In this video, I'll show you how to set up Tailwind CSS in a Remix project. I'll start by creating a new Remix project with npx create-remix at latest. And here I'll call my project Remix slash Tailwind CSS. Here I'll select Remix App Server, but feel free to choose whatever option you want. And I'll go with JavaScript, but again, it's up to you. And I will run npm install, yes. All right. Next, I'll install Tailwind CSS and its peer dependencies with npm install d, Tailwind CSS, Post CSS, and Auto Prefixer. And I will also install a package called Concurrently so that I can compile Tailwind in parallel with the Remix process. OK, now I want to create a Tailwind config file, which is going to be the one place where I make all customizations for Tailwind. I can do so with npx Tailwind CSS init. And let's open that file. Tailwind CSS is a framework for building bespoke user interfaces, and it's been designed from the ground up with customization in mind. And this Tailwind config right here is the central place for all those customizations. I have a theme option where I can add or customize things like colors, font sizes, or the spacing scale. I can register first party or custom plugins. And there are many other configuration options, but a very important one, which we'll look at now, is this content array. Tailwind generates CSS on demand based on the classes we actually use in our project. But for it to work, I need to tell Tailwind where I'll be using classes, so where my template files are in this project. Most of the templating action in a Remix project happens in this app directory. And you can see if I open the routes folder, there is an index.jsx file, which is typically where we'd use Tailwind classes. So I can tell Tailwind to look at that file with app slash routes slash index.jsx. But now what happens is when I build my project, I add a route called about.jsx. Well, of course, I could add this file to my content array. But as you can imagine, it would get quite tedious to have to list each file individually. I'd have to come back in my Tailwind config file every single time I add a file to my project. Luckily, the content configuration in Tailwind supports glob patterns, which means I can use wildcard characters to match multiple files. For example, I can replace the index string here with a star, and this will match any file with the .jsx extension inside my routes folder. Unfortunately, this only looks in the immediate children of a directory and not inside subdirectories. So a route called about slash me .jsx wouldn't be matched because we've moved up one directory. The good news is I can add slash star star to my pattern. And this now will look at every file inside the directory, including subdirectories. So it will match about slash me .jsx, but it will also match about slash teams slash dev slash robin .jsx. Nice. All right, so let me remove that line. And notice that currently we only look inside the routes directory. But if I close the routes directory here, you can see there's other files, including this root.jsx, that we may want to include in our content array. It's not uncommon to want to have Tailwind classes on the HTML tag or perhaps on the body tag. And if you want to do that, make sure that this file is also included in the content array. So I could add it manually, app slash root.jsx, but once again, we might have more files than this one. And here we can get rid of the slash route segment. And now we will look at everything inside the app directory, which includes that file. So I can remove it. OK, and one more thing before we move on. What if instead of JSX, we changed our mind and decided to use TypeScript? So the file has a .tsx extension. And maybe we also have just a JavaScript module that makes use of a Tailwind class. Well, it turns out that you can use curly braces like this when you want to match multiple different strings. So you can separate them by a comma. So let's make sure we match JSX files as well as TSX files. And let's also add JS and TS. All right, and I think we're good to go with the content configuration. Next, I will create a new styles directory. And inside of it, I will have a file called app.css. In there, I'll have the three Tailwind directives, at Tailwind base, at Tailwind components, and at Tailwind utilities. Now to generate styles from that file, I'll create some scripts in my package.json file. So I'll add a script called build column CSS. And here we'll use the Tailwind CLI to compile Tailwind. So Tailwind CSS and our input file dash i will be our styles slash app.css file we've created. And for the output dash o, we'll put this in app slash styles slash app.css. And I'll add the dash m flag to minify the CSS since this is the build command. 
So we're taking this file as our input, and when we run this script, a new file called app.css will be created in our app directory inside of a styles directory. All right, I'll copy this script, and after dev, I will paste it and change it to dev column CSS. And here, instead of the minify, I want to use the dash W for watch flag. So the CLI will keep listening for changes and rebuild the file. And now I can update the existing script. So for the build task, we will first run npm run build column CSS, which is this command. And after that, run remix build. For the dev command, we don't want to sequence these two tasks. And this is why we've installed the concurrently package. So we want to concurrently run npm run dev column CSS, which is our Tailwind dev script, and then run remix dev. But I need to add some delimiters between these two tasks, and I can do so with escape double quotes. All right, that was a handful, but now we have a really nicely integrated setup. All right, so this app.css file that we've generated with Tailwind is the file that we want to import in our project and use everywhere on every page. And so the right place to import this is in our root.jsx file. At the top, I'll import styles, from, and here we're going to point to the CSS file generated by the Tailwind CLI. So it'll be in the current folder, slash styles, slash app.css. This file doesn't exist yet, it'll be created inside this app directory, and this is the one I'm talking about. We're going to export a function called links, and this will return an array of links defined as objects. So our link tag will have a rel attribute set to style sheet, and an href attribute of styles styles being what we've imported up here. So now we've created a link tag that references our CSS file, and then this link tag will be injected in the links component here. And with that, everything is good to go. I'll quickly change the content of our homepage in index.jsx here, and replace everything in the demo with just an h1 tag that says, hello world. All right, let's first run the build command to generate our CSS file, npm run build, and you can see we have a new styles directory with our app.css minified Tailwind CSS. And now let's start the dev server with npm run dev. And I will add some Tailwind classes to the h1 tag. Text 3xl. Yep. Font bold. Uh-huh. Underline. And looks like everything's working. 